how to create a business account on Facebook. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can get started with building your Facebook business account. So let's get into it. Now, Facebook now goes under the realm of Meta and Meta can include Instagram and Facebook both. And you can get started with building your Facebook business account simply by heading on over to the link called business.facebook.com slash create. So you can just copy this link and enter this URL and you can be headed to this particular page. Now in this particular page, you're going to click on create an account on the bottom and then you're going to enter your business account name. So your business account name usually is going to be the public domain name or the public name of your business. So our name, our business name is Durden Clothing or just Durden and this will be what is going to be shown across Facebook. After that, you have your personal name and then your business email address. Now, make sure that you're using a business email for this. If you are not, you might run into some issues. I do recommend going for a business email. If you don't have one already, you can go on to GoDaddy. GoDaddy has super cheap business emails available and you can really get started with your products over here. So if I go into my products over here, I have previously purchased a domain as well as a email address with GoDaddy. So you guys can see I have Dirt in store and I also have my email address with my particular domain name. But I'm just going to use my standard domain or my standard email for this. So we're going to click on submit over here. And once you click on submit, you will be able to move forward with building your business account on Facebook. Now, keep in mind that a business Facebook account is pretty different from a standard account. You're just going to go on ahead and verify your email address. We're just going to wait for our verification over here. And once you get your email, you're going to find that it's marked urgent. You're going to go on ahead and see all of the items and you're going to click on over here, fix issue. And you, you can see over here, your business account has been restricted for security reasons because any ads connected to this account are disabled. So you can just click on fixing account and you can see over here is from your switch your profile to view this notification and click on switch. And then now you're going to be led to your business support home. Now you guys can see this is our business account. So currently our account has been restricted. I think this is because our previous account was a personal account. So even if you have this kind of disabled assets, it's totally fine. You don't need to be worried about that. You can just click on request review. And once you click on request review, you can just click on request review over here. And then after this, you're just going to confirm this is you click on continue and then you can upload your ID just so it's easier for them to verify. So you're just going to upload that and you can click on continue. But this is going to be your business account center. So this is going to be your business account suite or support section. Now, within your business account, you have a commerce manager, ad manager, business settings, you have brand safety, event manager, media library, and so much more. Then you have your basic business account. So we already have a pre-existing one, which is our Jane Doe business account. And you can click on go to business home to be able to see our business home. So you guys can see that this particular business account is affiliated with this page. You can affiliate your accounts and pages together and you will also be able to see your commerce accounts and catalogs be linked. Now, this is a singular page that I've linked over here and you can also integrate your Facebook pixel over here. Now, if you want to get started with, you know, collaborations and events, you can go into your collaboration center on the top left. And once you are over there, you can get started with managing your collaboration. So you can click on get started and discover partners and more. So you can go into the partner section and you can browse the partner directory and you can send a email request to get started with collaborations with the retail partners. So if you're a influencer or if you're a public personality, you can send out requests with larger businesses like a coffee shop or maybe a maybe a perfume company. And you can be like, hey, I will promote your business and, you know, we can make a deal. You can share assets with them as well. 
now other than some of these features you also had advertisement features as well as job locations business support home business settings and your applications you also have analytical tools as well as page posts so with each individual business account you can go into your meta business suite to link your particular page so i have this page linked you can link any page that you want within the same business account so it needs to be under the same facebook login that you used now after that you also have some other tools such as the commerce manager so if you go into your commerce manager or your basic platform where you can sell your products you can open this up and you have your facebook pages set up now you can click on add catalog over here to add your product catalog this can be in the form of ecom travel property auto let's say it's ecom and we're selling online products you can click on next now you can add the catalog owner which is going to be your business account then you can upload your product info over here so you can do this in the form of bulk if you already have a csv file for your particular products then you will have your catalog name which might be new arrivals like this and click on create over here and after you do this you can click on view catalog to see the catalog now i can start creating individualized products within my catalog of my business account and i can display these on my facebook business page as well now in my catalog i can click on items over here and you will see this is just empty and then on the top right you're going to click on add items and once you click on add items you can click on manual so if you want to fill out each individual product information manually you're going to go with that option however if you are already selling on a platform like shopify or any other platform then you might already have your product directory and you just want to sell the same product you can download those or export those in a csv file and then click on data feed over here and upload the csv file here to get all of your products imported within a few clicks however if you're going to import only one or two products you can go with manual and click on next and in the manual field you have things such as a short title let's say this is going to be or let's say this is going to be a physical product so it's going to be third in perfume and then you can insert images then you also have variants that you can create so you can duplicate the same item and this might be for men and the first one might be unisex and then after that you have your description which is going to be whatever description you might want to add you can obviously add that and then you're gonna link your website obviously you're not selling on facebook marketplace you're going to be selling on shopify or any other third-party platform whatever is your uh, checkout system you're gonna link that page over here and then you can add the price on the right side you have your price currencies as well and you can just enter that and let's say i'm just going to paste any link i'll just paste my shopify link over here we're just taking a shopify item link that we have a sample item like this one over here i'm going to click on copy and then going back to our business account we're going to insert the links like this and then after that we're just going to click on upload items on the right side and obviously we're just going to enter the images for this to be completed now and this way you can get started with setting up your meta or facebook business account make sure that you are creating a business page that can go hand in hand with your business account as well if you're doing this as a business and i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe